Hot Tricks. A tip stab is a quick landing maneuver that leaves your kite standing on its wingtip. It's easiest to approach this maneuver at a 45 degree angle. Push your left hand forward, pull your right slightly back to start the turn. Quickly reverse the motion to snap into the stab. Hand speed is what's important. Tip stabs can be performed anywhere in the wind window, but it's best to try the edge in the beginning until you're more comfortable. Pull down on your lower wingtip, or you may need to take a step or two to touch down smoothly. A side slide is where the kite appears to hover and fly parallel to the ground across the wind window. Start your slide by making a quick down turn. The momentum of this turn helps to generate the speed to slide the kite across. To perform a side slide, snap into the turn to start the slide. Keep your hands held relatively even throughout the slide. Control the line tension with your fingertips. This tension will stabilize the kite and maintain the kite's momentum throughout the slide. To maintain altitude and speed, walk forward and in the direction of the slide. With a little practice, you'll soon be sliding your kite full window. The turtle is a cartwheel maneuver that takes place entirely on the ground. Aside from being a hot trick, this is also a cool way to relaunch after a crash. Snap hard and pull on the left wing while pushing forward simultaneously on the right. The proper technique requires a lot of wrist motion and practice. Before the kite can roll over, you actually need to pin the left wingtip on the ground. Don't be too aggressive at first, or you can easily damage a wingtip. The best place to start the turtle is away from the center window. When you've mastered the technique, multiple turtles are no big deal. The axle puts the kite into a controlled flat spin. There's a two-part technique to performing an axle. Start by setting a good solid stall. It's easier on the edge of the wind window for beginners. To perform the axle, push the left wing out and pull back smoothly while pushing the right wing forward. Your hands will use a smooth rotating motion. Make sure to step into the axle and maintain slack throughout the maneuver.
The more slack you give, the flatter the spin, but the harder it is to pull off. The axle can be a challenging maneuver to perform for even the best flight. The tip drag is fairly straightforward. The kite flies horizontally while trailing a wingtip on the ground. To successfully perform a tip drag, always keep the nose up in a slight angle. To make initial ground contact, take a few steps forward. You will notice that Scott uses his right hand to continually monitor line tension and maintain the proper nose angle. To control the speed of the tip drag, simply walk forward to slow down or backward to speed up, but continue to maintain ground contact with the wing. The best surfaces for this trick are beach sand or grass. Ideal wind conditions for this trick are light to moderate. A snap stall is when a moving kite comes to a dead stop. Hand motion should be very quick and not necessarily hard. Start with a push turn to start the turn, then snap the same hand back to stop the kite. When you complete the motion, your hand should be relatively even. Accelerate the kite flying into the stall. This will put more speed into the initial turn. It may be necessary to walk forward to maintain the stall. The ground roll is a combination landing, roll, and relaunch. Enter the maneuver flying in towards center window and use the kite's momentum to roll the kite over. Offset your hands and pull back sharply on both lines to relaunch. Try to time the relaunch so that the kite does not quite reach the opposing leading edge to keep the nose off the ground. This trick works well in all wind conditions. 
Remember though, hand position and timing are crucial. 